Okay, friends, CSI Net brush up series. For a moment, you need to know some little trip. I mean, for for very hurry, exam is ahead. You need to learn. So RNA. What about RNA? RNA, you know all. We know that RNA is ribonucleic acid. It is single stranded uh, nucleic acid. And in this case, in single stranded nucleic acid, it can be a genetic material. In fact, we've seen in case of viruses, RNA can be a successful genetic material. But remember, among RNA and DNA, DNA is the best genetic material. In fact, because uh, if DNA is present, RNA can't be a genetic material. In the absence of DNA, RNA can be genetic material. Now, uh, RNA is prone to alkaline hydrolysis, and that thing is a unique feature because in contamination of uh, RNA using uh, inside the DNA, we usually uh, treat it with alkaline solution, which will uh, degrade RNA but will uh, leave the DNA intact. That's a good process. And why RNA is prone to alkaline hydrolysis? Because of the presence of two prime hydroxyl in the sugar, pentose sugar, that is ribose sugar. And why? Because the uh, 2-prime-hydroxyl in the acidic alkaline media acts as a hydrolyzing agent which will help it to degrade the RNA. Now, uh, in eukaryotic system, RNA can be of three different types, mRNA, rRNA, and tRNA. In the M and among them, rRNA is the most predominant type present in the maximum amount. On the other hand, M and tRNA are also present. mRNA is negative charged RNA at a neutral pH. So that's the typical feature of mRNA. It's negatively charged at neutral pH. And the tRNA, it is 20 different types of tRNA that are found. And each of the tRNA are consigned to be attached with a specific amino acid sequence that are available. So 20 different forms of TR tRNA are present. Now, if you look at the uh, molecular weight of different RNA and DNA inside the cell, what we can find that the maximum molecular, you know, the increasing molecular weight and maximum molecular weight is there for the DNA. Then we have rRNA, then we have tRNA. So, maximum molecular weight to DNA, then rRNA, then tRNA is the least molecular weight containing uh, nucleic acid present there. And if we look at the radio labeling process, and, uh, in some cases we need to find out the presence of RNA in, inside the cell, process presence of DNA inside the cell. Easy way to find out the presence of RNA inside the cell, and the way is to uh, add some radio labeling, uh, radio labeling, and radio labeled nucleotide. And what nucleotide you should choose to to do that? You know, for RNA, the unique uh, nucleotide that is present is uracil so you take this uracil and actually you feed that cell using radio level uracil to find out actually you can find questions from like that in the group c of the net uh, and design experiment time now uh, last thing i want to talk about there's not much thing about rna you should know of uh, in this case uh, it's sanger sequencing and sequencing for dna usually we use sanger sequencing and that's a good method to see for sequencing short nucleotide stretches but not long but this is exact it is going to give you the exact sequence of the nucleic acid now the sanger sequencing we use two three prime it's two prime three prime it's not any you pack name it's two prime three prime di 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 dioxy ribonucleotide and di dioxy actually we put not any enzyme or some materials like that we put nucleotide it's modified nucleotide so actually in nucleotide we are having only uh, you know one hydroxyl group is absent in dna but in this case we've made two hydroxyl group absent one is a two prime and the one is a three prime usually in dna generally two prime hydroxyl is absent but we made this three prime hydroxyl absent two and that gives us two prime three prime di deoxy di deoxy that means two deoxy uh, ribonucleotide and if we add this ribonucleotide it will terminate uh, the production of the chain it will terminate uh, the synthesis and attachment of the new nucleotide sequence and uh, it will terminate uh, the elongation process of nucleotide synthesis and as a result it blocks the peptide bond synthesis and finally stops the process and how exactly it occurs you can find many videos and you can find my own two or three different videos about sanger sequence in my youtube channel so that's the basic thing about guys and i hope that's it